were evacuated from the spot where we were, all the media were reporting on the proceedings today. As you've explained to the audience, the certification process has now been suspended. Uh, we have ha had the members of the uh, House of Representatives and the Senate cleared from the floor. Mike Pence as well has been uh, taken away for his own safety. Uh, you've seen the pictures of protesters swarming the building. I never thought I'd see anything like this in my life, certainly not in the United States of America. Donald Trump has tweeted telling his uh, supporters to respect the police, but he's not called them off. He's not told them to stop doing what they're doing. And it was on his kind of encouragement after his speech earlier today that they decided to come down here. I think unprecedented doesn't even cover what we've experienced now. Uh, police have told us this is not likely to be a short process either. So, yeah, quite something. Let's go back now to Lebo Di Secco at the place where George Floyd died that has now become known as George Floyd Square. Um, Lebo, just sum up the mood there. The authorities were braced for trouble. Does the suggestion uh, and the fact that the verdicts were all guilty mean that perhaps the idea of trouble is perhaps receding a little? Yeah, I mean, there was certainly a sense of celebration, relief, really, even from people here when they uh, read the guilty, guilty, guilty uh, verdicts. I think that uh, really the core of this case has been the value of black life in America. That is what people have been saying to me over and over again, and whether they can trust that police will be held accountable for taking it. This was about George Floyd, yes. It was also about all the other cases of black men and women who have died in encounters with police. And it's just a week or so ago since a young black man was shot dead after being stopped at a traffic stop on the other side of Minneapolis. So, yes, people are pleased with the verdict uh, that was given today, but they also say that the whole system that needs to be reformed and much, much more work that needs to be done before they can try that they will be treated equally under the law and that their country values them equally. Around 95% of votes in this state have been counted. As you said, Joe Biden has won this state. There were really ugly scenes at this centre here, though, earlier. Both Republicans and Democrats saying that they were being barred both from entering the building and entering this room. We saw people banging on the windows, demanding to be let in. Now, that is the basis of Donald Trump's action in this state. He says Republicans have been barred from meaningful access to uh, view what is happening and, and observe proceedings here. Um, many people had been worried that this election Election results would be uh, would end up in front of the Supreme Court and certainly uh, Donald Trump's action may well lay the way for that with such tight results uh, trust in this process is going to be really important uh, Lebo, many thanks again for the latest then Detroit uh, in Michigan uh, our correspondent uh, Lebo de Secco let's now take you live to the Walter Reed Medical Center where mr. Trump is being treated and speak to our correspondent Lebo de Secco you've been seeing some Trump supporters there Lebo what are they saying yeah, I think you can probably hear some of their enthusiasm, Larry. Uh, there are quite some real supporters of uh, the president basically telling me that this could have happened to anybody. He is a fighter and they think that, they'll, that he will definitely overcome. One man told me that he flew in overnight to show his support for Donald Trump. There's a whole range of different age groups there, senior citizens, younger people. What's been quite interesting is there have been a few moments of uh, tension uh, with uh, supporters of Joe Biden. I guess that's kind of indicative of some of the passions we see uh, in the country. But overall, his supporters were really uh, good natured and, and telling me that they just want him to overcome and they believe he'll do it. Lebo, I could have sworn I, I saw you in Washington a few hours ago. Um, you, you, you're, you're moving <laughs> yeah. pretty quickly around the country. <laughs> I, I'm, what, you, I'm, I'm so uh, nervous. Like the, the, <laughs> I woke up 
biting my nails about this. I was like, what is happening? And then, you know, uh, quite quickly, we were on a plane uh, on the way here. And the reason is it's such an important state, along with uh, Wisconsin, where Yelda is, Pennsylvania as well will be somewhere that both uh, candidates are really watch watching. Whoever wins is going to really need these, uh, what was called the Rust Belt, the formerly industrialized states, used to be very strongly Democrat. Uh, uh, Donald Trump swung those in 2016, as we saw.